We're at the uh, North Shore today, right near the Yacht Club, which is right there, and we're getting ready to test out the new mud shoes. This is them, not these. Those are regular shoes. This is a pair of the mud shoes, and these are basically very rigid rubber. that you put your foot in, like so, and uh, you put the straps around. So it's like that, and there's one for the back. And as you walk on the mud, these sides kind of fan out and let them, so it basically increases the surface area of your feet, making it easier to float on the mud as opposed to sinking into it. Uh, they weigh about two pounds, maybe three pounds, uh, maybe two pounds. They're relatively easy to walk in. Uh, these are mudder boots. They are not cheap, but uh, the owner and inventor was kind enough to give them to us at a great discount to help support us. So we're gonna go check them out in some North Shore mud in just a few minutes. Better. Much better. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Things are great. Great, aren't they? Unless he's falling yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I'm sure I'm You'll need a towel. <laughs> oh, look at him, look at him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going that way. This is so much better. <laughs> Are you going to go that way? <laughs> They were fantastic. I mean, we could, we could walk all over. I wasn't sinking at all. Um, they just it just felt like you were on maybe like a squishy track, but didn't sink. Um, definitely worth having. All right, now we're going to give a try of this is, some this is fanning uh, out more than deeper mud. We're a little north of the north of the yacht club, so we're going to go through some marshy areas. Okay, well we just finished <laughs> testing out our new mudder boots. We came up a couple of miles, uh, 10 miles or so north of the yacht club and walked through a basically a marsh which is much muddier, it's, it's water, actually standing water that I won't really encounter 
uh, during my walk. And the mud shoes performed great. Was able to walk right over the water. The water was a couple inches deep. The mud was several inches deep. We were able to get through it with no problem. I would have never attempted or even considered uh, walking through mud like that or a marsh like that without those mud shoes. So they really did their job. Uh, I can attest that they do work. I broke one of the straps. The little straps that hold them on are just made out of plastic and I pulled it tight and it popped. That's not a big deal because I can buy new ones at the uh, hardware store probably for 50 cents, but that's my only complaint. But uh, otherwise, they do work and I will be bringing these with me through the uh, muddy areas uh, when I'm walking around the uh, Salton Sea in June.